Hello, everybody. Welcome out of the Let's strikes. Let's roll a die. Oh my god. There's something in my eye. Started off with a rhyme. We didn't even start the run yet. Okay. We, uh, we love those. We'll, we'll please the hunter. You know what? We will give the wolf cloak a rest. We'll give it a rest for an episode. I found out that the hunter is indeed my most played character. I kind of had that sneaking suspicion. I mean, most played character correction. I don't know overall, but I, ever since AG and D started. Oh, I was informed of the statistics of all oh, of my uh, my character plays. Ooh, and Hunter is noticeably number one since AG and D started. I have a feeling that over time here it will start to uh, even itself out a little bit. Dumb way to start. Ah, got caught on the wall. But yeah, I have a feeling now that we uh, ever since we started the D6 rolls, we will even out, even out. But yeah, it's. I, uh, something about the characters just feels right to me. I think it probably has aspect, like a lot to do with the aspect of, um, roguelites aren't, you, like, typically, ones that don't change their difficulty level, like, as you play more. Um, eh, aside from, obviously, the one time it does. Gun Gungeon does one time, like, there, it starts with slower bullets, and at, at a certain point, maybe, like, once you beat or fight the dragon both speed start speeding up um but aside from that it doesn't change so maybe i my guess is the fact that her first floor aside from bullet feels really really smooth and predictable like just having a, a gun that one shot bops the starter like the starting enemies the base enemies the bullet can it just lets you go through it in a smooth clean way that mixed with the fact that she, uh, like, so, yeah, her starting weapon, obviously, like, the rusty sidearm, who really cares? Ever since AG and D, you barely ever use your starting weapons, unless you are somebody who doesn't have a secondary to start out with. Um, but, so, basically, the crossbow is her starting weapon, effectively, really, and the crossbow is, I'd say... Barring Blasphemy, which I think is just, like, it's it's ridiculously good, like, to the point where I feel guilty using it. This is just, like, a nice, simple starting weapon that gets the job done really smooth. And then on top of it, you have the Dogue. Okay, that's, that's something to start out with. You got the Dogue that is amazing for long term. So you have a, a really good short term solution in the crossbow. And then you have a long-term solution as well in the dog. So she kind of just has a couple couple neat options. But like I always mention, doesn't, you know, it doesn't make a big difference. But, you know, the differences are indeed present. So they're worth noting. What do we got here? Sponge. Is this sponge worth 45 shells? I don't think so. I know it has synergies, and I know it would basically make us immune to... Crossbow just became a banger? The last bullet in every clip does a lot of damage. I only have one clip. One in the clip. So, or one in the whatever you would call it in a crossbow. One in the crossbow. How about that? Trick Twins. Why does it every single run on planet Earth feels like it's the Trigger Twins recently? I'm okay with it. Like, I think I've got their number more than other first floor bosses. Oh, can I aim correctly, though? There we go. Knowing my memory, though, we probably just fought somebody else. And I can't even... Oh, that was actually really close. And I'm wrong. Like, that's my that's my guess. Oh. God, that's so good. Holy money! 50 shells? And two health upgrades. I mean, I don't really care that much about the two health upgrades, but I'll take them 50 shells. You bet. You bet I will. We have four keys. So, what you're telling me is 
I would be really dumb to skip the sewers. Point taken. I'm gonna check the shop while that's rolling. Do we want the sponge? Is, are we supposed to take this as a sign to get the sponge or an extra key? I mean, we have four, so we're gonna be able to open this up and still have two remaining. I don't know. So my heart tells me you don't need to buy a key. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass because you know what? The next shop probably has a key too, so whatever, whatever. I think it will be okay. Bop. Oh, you son of a gun, you weren't ethereal yet. You weren't corporeal. Bop, 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 bop. So is it still like, if I have this on and then I switch, is that still a thing? That is still a thing. We basically can keep the fear of Bruin. I don't know exactly how it works, but like the fear from the stone dome st stays for a while. I'm just trying to, I'm trying way too hard to make it work just cause I'm trying to, yeah. So we can like quick switch to it and we get the fear effects from it. But I think it only works on enemies in the room. So like we have to do it every room or rather after they spawn. But for some of these enemies, this will be actually a better weapon anyways, though. Yeah. Whoop. But yeah, the crossbow, I think it's what, like a 50% increase in damage? I'll take that. If so, that's really nice for one-shot bot guns like this. I mean, you can tell. Hey, ah! Uh. Why did I drop that? Oh. I didn't. I don't think I dropped. Press the drop button. That time I did, cause I was trying to cheese it. Whoop! We only got 15 shots left in this. Sad day. Crossbow heard me talking about it being a, a floor one gun and said, oh, you think the dog is the only thing? Oh my, double oh my. All right, well, it's a one run. We we have two health bars. That's, that's what this means. Two health bars potentially at these, potentially at the expense of a space bar item slot. But let's be real. Two health bars is way better than a space bar. In 95% of scenarios? Here's my concern. I might accidentally use it. <laughs> that's 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 my concern with this, the orange. You might use it early. But if we could get like a bonus space bar, I'd be all for that. Hexagon. That, uh, that's an Omega Bullet Banger as well. Omega Banger. In fact, it is more an Omega Banger than Crossbow, believe it or not. Oh! Uh oh. But in, by the same token, I feel weird even using it against these enemies. But it's got 75 shells. Ring of Chest Friendship? Yeah, we take those. We take those, we take keys. And just like that, Yeah, we are now we are immediately in weird key territory. Oh, uh oh. Because now we have Ring of Chest Friendship and I wish we would have purchased the key last floor, but if we purchased the key last floor, we wouldn't have been able to purchase the key this floor, at least not yet. I don't know. It's all good. I'm kind of tempted to fill up the crossbow, he says, completely disregarding that thought as he was saying it. I'm, I'm, I was gonna say what I should have said is it wouldn't be a dumb idea to fill up crossbow. Do we have junk? We don't, because a hundred shots of crossbow is not bad right now at all. Oh, I'm just gonna let you get poisoned to death. I'm rude, aren't I? I'm tempted to like, oh my God, with the 
keys? I'm not gonna... That, that's annoying to see that stuff there. I don't know that I want to go to the second secret floor. But it's annoying. I hate that that room can be locked. I feel like... I, I feel like... And I don't think it's entitled to say. I don't think you should have to use a key for that room. By the same token that they, they decided that locked shops were were a bad idea. I think that that room being locked is a bad idea as well. Because, like, you can get to the sewer every run if you are paying enough attention to, like, to make sure not to break the water barrel and you're fine with uh, accepting, like, what to do with your keys, you know? But, because you will get... Oh! My boy, my new, honestly, my new son, like, I'm seeing him way more than Casey. Um, so I feel like you have to use two keys to get here. Oh, well. But you're guaranteed two keys, and I guess you're guaranteed a key in the shop here, but it's just like, that seems like kind of a bummer, don't you think? I don't know. That all being said, should I do it? Should I do it? I don't think I'm going to do this. I shouldn't shoot just to prove a point. I don't know. I know we can't go to the second secret floor, but then it's just like... What's up with our key economy then, all of a sudden? Here, we'll do this, because worst comes to worst, we are just trading a key for a shield, which is not like... It's not that a stupid idea, it's just... A bad trade, in most scenarios. In most scenarios, it's a bad trade, but we'll get it just in case I changed my mind I feel like going to the second secret floor if we can even get the option that's assuming I'm I'm uh, good enough Ooh, that does a, we do a lot of damage we got to be careful okay what the what the what okay well there's that uh, <laughs> so we do have to make the decision a lot of times I get it I'm just like whatever happens if we get hit we get hit but yeah, Ring of Chest Friendship is such a good item, and I've, like, slept on it. Not really, like, <laughs> not literally. No, I mean, not, uh, I haven't s considered it to be bad at any point in the freaking game. But I also just, like, it needs some mega respect, I think. Like, if you can get the keys to get the value from it, oh boy, oh boy. It can change your run. It can change your run big time. Oh, I was really hoping for it. Why are we cursed? What are we cursed from? The stone dome. But yeah, if you have the keys for it, it can change your run big time. Is it worth the money we paid? Maybe not. It's always worth a key. Okay, correction. I, you can't use sweeping positives like that ever like in in games like this because obviously yes in a situation where you don't have enough keys to buy stuff you shouldn't use a key for it because that makes no sense and it obviously is better <laughs> early on than it is better late oh man immediately two uh counterpoints to what i just said but still there i made them before you guys gotcha uh, i'm gonna go get the laser sight because I overvalue it, and I like it. It's one of those items that I just, I really appreciate having. I don't think it's um, insane. Like, it's a nice little accuracy up. I just like having the laser. I, I honestly, like, it's just satisfying to have for me. All right, should we? We'll probably open that one up. Because I like to open up the those ones since you know what they are first. Or I mean, like, if I open up that one, I know what type of item the other one will be. So that's why I like to stray towards opening up those before ones that are just randomly dropped in rooms. Because you can just gather, you can gather data about, about these chests. You can't gather any data about this chest. The laser's not pointing where my thing is doesn't really matter since it 
super homing shots anyways, but like there's there's very little we gained from accuracy here. I mean, crossbow isn't actually oh, ridiculously accurate, I guess. Hexagon is fairly, fairly dang accurate. Oh, that was a weird dodge. But yeah, the hex gun for the most part is as accurate as you are. But yeah, what's happening here? The further we get away, the less it's in line with. Weird. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Bop. Two shot bop. Oh. God, I love this. I love this. All right. What do we do with this info? We open up this. If the brown chest is a passive, the brown chest is a passive. And you know what? We got an accuracy up for shot grub. Not awful. So it's a brown chest passive versus a blue chest question mark. I would take a brown chest passive over a blue chest gun in most scenarios here. This is dangerous. And possibly outrageously unwise. Oh, uh, shoot, what room was it? I forgot what room it was in. I'm going to take this to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm not going to do this one. I'm actually going to do the... Um... Wait, is this a locked chest in here? No. I'm going to do this one. Stop it. do this. Good. Got it. Mm, not even really worth the time. <laughs> not even really worth the time. Blunderbuss is stinky mediocre. It's got some synergies, but even they like seem like they struggle to make it valuable. Like, I value shot grab more. Like, I, I respect this item a little bit now. But we will probably gun munch. Eh. I don't know. I want, like, a shotgun like, that has one shot in it. What is it? It's like... Would Zilla shotgun, if you charge it up and un unleash it, does that count as the last shot? Since... I don't know. Don't know how that works. But I think we, uh... We got Hexagon. It's, it's our big boom. At the moment. Are we poison immune? No. Couldn't remember if we ended up taking Sponge or not. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, mess it up for a second there. All good. All good. Bye bye. Book of chest and anatomy. Interesting. Curious timing. Thank you very much. I actually appreciate that, but I do have enough to buy this key. So, I will open this up. I will open this up. Why do we get this every, like, it seems like this is so dang common. That we have six hearts in the tank. We already found the secret room, too. We have four blanks, six hearts in the tank. Oh, my God. Got enough money to fill a bank. Not That's not true. Just wanted to keep the rhyme going. We have three shells. We got nothing. We're broke. Bruh. 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 We could have gone 
into the ratch, couldn't we? That was so unnecessarily risky, but we just, we do so much damage when we flip tables now. That we can't, uh, I mean, we just, we gotta use them. Oh, I thought that room was, like, empty from over there. Hey. I know that I can do one shot to, to get that, but I shouldn't be doing it. I understand that. Don't worry. Uh-oh. I realize what I'm doing is stupid. Hi, guys. Hopefully don't need you. That or give me a vampire also. A lot of the times, like, since it doesn't seem like you... I ever really see them on, like, the forge. I think they can show up there. But it, unless it's, like, the forge or maybe even, like, the fourth floor, it seems like I don't re ever really get that much value from them unless there's a vampire on the floor or cigarettes or that's about it, really. Holy moly! Guns, gar, and cannoli! We got a insane run. Like, look at all these chests, and the thing is, we can break them and we'll get something because of Book of Chest Anatomy. Such a nice, like, it's a, it's a really nice soft combo. What would I would appreciate more would obviously be a lot of keys. But I'm happy, uh, I'm happy we have what we got. I'm not gonna argue with, with this. How could you argue with this? And like I said, we get this exact combo. Gold amulet, table tech blank so often now. It's just such a killer. It's a it's a run winner to an extent. Independently, they're both like pretty good. Together, it's just gross. It's just Frankly, it's filthy. Not to mention we have this head that will like push people away from us so we can get to tables more effectively. Oh, what you got for me, pup? Huh. Two keys. <gasps> Bouncy bullets! That's better than keys. Is it actually? Probably. But I love bouncy bullets. They're just, they're fun. They're one of those items that are just always a good time. Always a good time to get. Especially, with, oh, minecart stopped me there. That could've been bad. Especially with things like, um, like piercing weapons and I think the hex gun is piercing. Yeah, the hex gun is piercing. Wah! Why does Retromation value Book of, uh, or Ring of Chest Friendship? Let me tell you. It's called In Three Steps. One, two, three. It's called, it's called In Three Steps. The Retromation Story. Hey! Ah! That tricked me! I thought it was gonna go all the way down! Everybody go watch the, uh, my Super Punch-Out video. <laughs> Random plug. I just thought, I, I said a Retromation story, and the, uh, the video is called TKO, a Retromation story. I played Super Punch-Out to practice for, uh, practice for the rat. I should probably fight the rat with my newfound skills that I, that I may or may not have. It's up to you to find out. Wait, what? Elder Blank is additional insanity to our situation, and it would maybe be worth uh, dropping the orange for. Cause gotta be real. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna win this, regardless of the orange. Are we gonna have to junk? And by that I mean just break and find out if we junk every single chest in this GD place. Get, let me get out. Okay. Ha! 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 Are we doing okay damage? I mean, I know that we don't have anything coming from Omega Bullets. Like, this is one of the last guns I should be using for Omega Bullets to have any effect, but I just... I don't really want to get close enough for Shock Grub right now. And don't even get me started on Blunderbuss. It seems like it might be doing more damage, though. Oh! Huh. 
I like the fact that we can get really far away from him, though. Cannon Balrog is an enemy that you just gotta get away from. Is he... He's taking damage. Is it because he's poisoned? I guess that's why. Alright, we actually got a really easy roll there. Those were not hard to, uh... To dodge. Oh! I thought that was gonna kill him. Oh, I thought that was gonna kill him. Woo-wee! Big iron! Synergy big iron. Oh! Magic big iron! What's the synergy with? Oh! So yeah, these have a chance to transmog. And it does... Looks like it does a... Hexagon shot every time. What the what the what? Alright, time to break a whole bunch of stuff. What's most, the most likely to give me a key? Blue or green? That's a garbage. We have a key. In the shop. We have two keys in the shop, but you can only buy one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh. I'll take that. Alright, so. Shoot. Our key economy is stank. Did we find a secret room? We did it. Could be right here, but I doubt it. Could be in one of these, but I'm pretty sure we looked already. Blanked in there. Could be off of this room. Alright, doesn't look like it's in here. Could be off here, but I'm pretty sure we checked here as well. And let's just pop one off in the shop and then leave. All right. I'm, I'm happy with my current amount of due diligence with secret rooms. Because uh, anything more than that, I find really boring. But giving it like a, a couple moments of thought at the end of the floor, I think that's an appropriate amount. Uh oh. Hey. This one is actually the one that's really easy with like two seconds of patience. We shouldn't have gone up. Ha! All right, is this as good as it looks? It so is. Is that truly the hexagon shot? Ridiculous if true. Those chickens are blocking. There's another. I'm ready to relive the pain. We got that. Okay, he did drop a key, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, so I don't think it's quite hexagon, and even if it is, it's not gonna match our Omega Bullet hexagon damage. But yeah, it's, it's pretty hard to tell if it is truly Hexagon, because it's kind of inaccurate, so I can't even really, really tell. Stop it. <laughs> that was not good, but it at least cleared the room. So yeah, we don't know how much damage Hexagon does normally now, like Sans Omega Bullet, Sans Undertale Omega Bullet. We just bopped that boy up there on accident. That's amazing. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. This is a dead end. Good thing we can chickify like the best of them. It's a really good chickify gun. Of 
Okay. Oh. If only we had like a billion mimics. Like this would be a really solid run to have mimic tooth necklace. I would like I would take it. Obviously, what I'm saying is this would be a solid run to have infinite keys, but mimic tooth necklace would be a totally worthy item. Like I'd love it. I'd love it. I would happily fight a million mimics to not have to worry about keys this run. And by extension, the uh, the drill, which is effectively more more common mimic tooth necklace. Solid weapon. Not more solid than our other stuff we got, though. Oh, I thought this was the purple room. Hey! Ah! Could have blanked it, but I just I thought that I might squeeze out alive. I mean, I guess I did. There's a key. Thank you. Thank you. Crestfallen doesn't excite me enough. If it was a- I'm- what am I looking for right now? What guns would be exciting me? One shot bops. Oh. Bungle. Full Metal Jack would be fun. But inherently less useful than Copper Amulet, truly. Like, like just on paper. On paper, if we are planning on blanking correctly, it's gonna be better. I like Full Metal Jacket in runs where we have something like uh, Metronome or uh, Meat Mun, obviously. Situations like that where it's really, really important to not get hit. Like, it's important. Here, it's not that important. It doesn't really matter that much if I get hit, to be honest. <gasps> Stop it with the dang health. Do I look like I need health? I have... Uh, second health bar in the bank down there. What are you doing to me? Alright, well, let's go open this one up. Uh, potential to be fun. And by that, I mean give it to me on bullet hell. Otherwise, I don't care. I don't know what to do there. Hey! Stupid man. Such a good boss weapon. Such a good boss weapon, especially like on this guy when it just got inside of him there and then we just... Every day we get the clown mask. Okay. We got one blank. Could be off this way. It's a bummer we're not gonna get either of these. But it's also like not really surprising to me in the slightest. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm out. We are one healthy son of a gun. So many old upgrades. And the orange. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 36. No, I guess technically with the orange, 35. 35 hits. Somebody stop him? Somebody stop him from using the... Uh, Sawed off, please. I love this dang ring. The only ring I might like better at this point is the ring of the resourceful rat, because it's a guaranteed S tier item and it's the D6. I like the ring of the resourceful rat if you get it early. 
It's so good. I mean, it's, but the thing is, it's valuable no matter when you get it, as long as, I mean, assuming you don't get it from a random chest in bullet hell. And even then, it still does have a use. But yeah, it's a, it's a freebie, it's a free S tier item. Ooh. <laughs> from a chest that's not an S tier chest. If you think of, like, you know, because if, if you don't follow, I apologize, but you can get a free S tier item by trading the bullet that can kill the pass. If you don't know, with the Ring of the Source for So therefore, inherently, it is already valuable. It is already valuable if you get it on the forge. Other than that, you do get a you get a rank uh, or a, a charge to trade every single every single floor. So if you get it any any floor before the forge, it's just free free real estate. It's free real estate. Huh? The chests are getting green now. That means they'll have better stuff when I inevitably gotta break them. <laughs> Alright, what do you got here? Irradiated lead. I will probably get enough for ra irradiated lead. We need the ration. That's what we need. We need to stay alive. I'm in danger. Guys, I hate to break it to you, everybody who wants me to lose the streak. You absolute evil hooligans. But, um... It's not happening today. I, I don't know what I would have to, like I would have to take my hands off the keyboard for like a full five minutes. <laughs> That's not true. I would have to not use the orange. I would have to forget to use the orange, not flip any tables. It's just, it's just the amount of things I would have to do wrong to lose at this point. It's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. What? Hey! Get off the conveyor belt, you doink! Boss. Yeah, we have three green chests just sitting on the floor. How is this item okay? I love it. Don't... Duh! Don't. Don't balance. Don't balance it. Just because it's too strong doesn't mean it matters, because it's a single player game. We are a uh, strong man. Big strong man. Does this have a key? It's another thing I can't open, and there's just two ammo bops. Spread ammos. That's fine. That's fine. No, really. It's worth it, though. It's worth it to do this. And then our secondary. What else do we want filled? I guess I'll do that. Then there's another green chest. There's the Witch's Cauldron. We eat the Witch's Cauldron? Ah! Uh, it's basically the uh, resourceful ring of the resourceful rat. We have way too many chests that we can't open. The good news is one of them will probably give us a key. We've gotten zero mimics. <laughs> Actually, zero mimics. Here's the hilarious thing. We could buy a key, but I kind of want to radiate lead. Apparently, we have a synergy with it, too. So, Emerald weapon. Oh, that makes it so every single... The final shot of every gun is guaranteed to be all poison. So, like, this will be a good way to show it off. See, all those were poison. It's like a... It's a nice little soft... Soft synergy thing. Soft serve synergy. Should we do this? I mean, we, we already did. So, we put in an item we put in a gun and we get a gun of the same tier that's cursed you know 
Let's get rid of the stone dome. Who cares? Who cares? Tried it. It's better than the stone dome, I th I'd say. So, more power to us. All right, so we opened up that one and we got what? Did we get a gun? Well, we definitely didn't get a radiated lead. We definitely didn't get this. We got that on the last floor. So I guess we got a gun. So that means this is a passive. Ooh. Not into that, really. Not into that. I don't think we can get any keys from the boss. So let's start busting chests, boys! We're gonna bust some chests. Only got zero blanks in my pocket. Hey, that's a synergy. It's fine. I mean, these are free, really. But the, the sad thing is, I don't know that we ended up getting... Well, we, we're getting shields. That's not nothing. But we ended up not getting that much value from the Ring of Chess Friendship, which is hilarious with how much I was up talking it. There's a key. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let us... Get the hell out of here in just a moment. So I think, wait, does Omega Bullets... Does Omega Bullets... Let me see. Omega Bullets Gungeon. Does it affect beam weapons the way I thought? I think. Has no effect on beam guns. <laughs> I think that Alpha Bullets does, though. I'm pretty sure Alpha Bullets does. Doesn't... Doesn't say. Why does it say... Oh, it's 80% more damage. This one doesn't say anything about beam weapons. That almost leads me to believe... It almost leads me to believe that uh, it does work for beam weapons, because it doesn't say it doesn't. What are we using here? I feel like we should be using... Probably Hexagon. Or maybe... Ha! I don't think it really matters. I feel like... Either of these, we're going to be dealing roughly the same damage. We might even be hitting the damage cap with this. I can't really... I won't do that, I promise. I just did. I don't promise. I take it back! Oh my god, we're out of blanks! Oh! Nelly! Furtado. Ha! Just makes sense sometimes, so... I don't know. Ha! I've kind of just reserved using it on bosses where, you know, like, I kind of just want to get to the damage cap. Like, if I use it effectively on the heart, we can maybe one cycle it. And like a lot of people have been saying, people have been warming up to it. A lot of people have been saying in the comments that gun dropping is not that, like, it's not really bad because it does, like, see, immediately shown right there while I was trying to talk about it. It takes a decent amount of, like, finesse. You have to finesse it, so it's... It's not like it's a full-on... just... game-breaking thing that's just easy. You do have to, like, finesse it a smidge. That being said, I still kind of want to reserve it for, like, Special situations where it seems obviously useful and bosses. That's kind of where I've landed on it. Obviously, we could use it the entire run, and if we got good at it, it would make the game... Ooh. Pretty, pretty trivial in a lot of situations. With, like, with a lot of guns. Like, using it effectively with the hexagon could be insane. I mean, you could, you could see, I'm sure, on the boss there, like, if I was doing it correctly. But, yeah, I just... I don't know. Oh. We get guaranteed poison on this, too. 
Not that that really matters, because we should be one-shot bopping most guys. Where are you? You are, you are nowhere. It seems pretty clear that this is the direction. Oh my god. Just realized we didn't get any um, cartographer's ring proc. We only had one chance to. Oh, shoot. With ring of chest friendship, there's a very real possibility we could get a chest on this floor. Oh my god, I didn't. How can I not see you? Devolver that boy. We can chickify and devolver enemies. That's crazy. Obviously, chickifying is outrageously better than the devolver shots, and that's kind of why I feel that the devolver rounds are just mediocre. Like, really mediocre, because magic bullets are a thing. Why would I want to turn him into Sewer Man when I could just turn him into a chicken? I mean, obviously, they, they have a right to exist. I'm not saying they, they're a bad concept for an item. I'm saying they are a poor choice to rely on. Like, there's very little times where I, I like them. Not to say there isn't. Like, obviously, you, using it on, like, a, a lead maiden or something or just a big enemy, you good? But you can't really, like, the problem is you can't really choose when it happens. Like I said before, with the, with the Devolver gun, I think I said in the last last episode even, it'd be a completely different story if the first shot, the first or last shot, ideally the first shot, that would make it really cool. Um, if the first shot made it so you guaranteed, this is hilarious. Uh, the fir first shot was a guaranteed transformation. I feel like that would change the gun entirely. Like, the first shot was a guaranteed, and none of the other shots have even have a chance to. That'd be really cool. But you know what? Upon second thought, like, with the gun drop and stuff like that, you would probably need to make it be the last shot in the clip, wouldn't you? Otherwise, it'd be abused way too easy. That Even that being said, though, like... Make it a, the same gun, but, like, the last shot definitely transforms them, and none of the other shots do. None of the other shots can e could even have a chance to. Would make it, like, a, and it, because it's such a cool idea for a gun, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't work right. It doesn't work right. You can't, you can't count on it. Gungeon's not really a game where you want to rely on your RNG elements. Well, hopefully we get another chest. Like, you can obviously put some stock into the fact that you can, could maybe, ch I could maybe chickify some guys, but like I'm, like when I'm shooting, I'm shooting at them, I'm saying, hey, maybe I'll chickify them. But, you know what I'm saying. If I were to just stand there, assuming it would happen, and let them walk at me, that's a bad idea. You gotta react for both both scenarios. If you're, you know, if you're not relying on the RNG, if you're not relying on it, you gotta prepare for both scenarios. Which is a much better way to do it, in my opinion. There's the boss. We got a lot of bangers, and we are seeming like we might not need to... Uh-oh. See, there, that's what I'm talking about. The Devolver Rounds just bungled that for me. Now we have a blue shotgun kin, which is an unpredictable enemy for this fight, because I've never had to deal with a blue shotgun kin in this room. Huh. Trying to get closer, we can do that. Good. This gun would probably be better used on the next phase. Yeah! Almost done here? 
I'm stunned here? Good. We have five blanks on a buttload of health. Five master rounds. And we have the orange on top of it. If we get hit, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't even matter. Whoop. Ooh, let's try not to get hit without using blanks. Self self-imposed challenge here. That was a poor choice. Yep, got hit. New self-imposed challenge. Don't lose red health. Got him. And final phase. I kind of want to use all my blanks on him, though, just to, just to make him have a really bad day. That's fine. You can do this. Kind of a fan of this phase, to be honest. It's a lot of downtime for him, really. And then he's just doing this again. Honestly, that was probably one of the least scary Phase 3 liches I've ever had the pleasure of facing. That was, honestly, all, all of his least annoying attacks in a row. It helps that we killed him so fast he didn't get to try a lot more, but... Holy moly, we're on a streak of 72! 72! Almost at 75, which is the three-fourths point. I would love that. Not as much as I'm gonna love 100, because it's it's looking more and more likely every day. Because that's how numbers work. But also because, like, it, you know, as we're playing more, we're getting more comfortable with how to play to win. But that was just, that was an amazing run. Omega Bullets are so satisfying. Super, super good. Hexagon is awesome. Uh, face Melter was clutch for the final boss. Obviously, Table Tech Blanks and Gold Amulet are an insane combo. All in all, we just we just had a solid run. Solid run. In a lot of ways, just a lot of nice elements. We didn't even use the orange. We had an like you look at our health, double that. Double that health at the end of the at the end of the run. That's how much we actually had. That's ridiculous. But anyways, that is going to do it for today. Thank you everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all the support you wish to leave on the series up to this point. Subscribe for daily Gungeon videos and more. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.